Welcome to our lecture online and here's a second example of an equation with fractional expressions. Again, when we try to solve this, this will turn into a quadratic equation. So here we see that this needs to be factored first because we want to make sure that we have a full understanding of what the denominators look like before we try to eliminate them. All right, we could do that by rewriting this as x plus 1 divided by x minus 3 plus 4 times x plus 3 equals 12 divided by, and since this is a difference of squares, this factors to x plus 3 times x minus 3. And so you can see that this then becomes the lowest common denominator of the three fractions, which means we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by that lowest common denominator. So on the left side, this is multiplied times x plus 3 times x minus 3. Oop, there we go. And over here, this whole thing will be multiplied times x plus 3 times x minus 3. All right, what does that look like? Well, here we multiply this times this, the x minus 3s cancel out, so we're left with an x plus 3 times an x plus 1. Plus, here we see that the x plus 3s cancel out, so we're left with a 4 times x minus 3. And on the right side, we see that this cancels out the denominator, we're left with 12. All right, now we have a quadratic equation because when we multiply this out, we get the following. We get x squared plus x plus 3x plus 3 plus 4x minus 12 equals 12. Then when we move everything over to one side to combine like terms, what do we get? We have x squared plus x plus 3x is 4x plus 4x is 8x. We have plus 3 minus 12 and when we move that across, we get plus 3 minus 12 minus 12 equals 0. Just want to make sure we don't make any mistakes. So minus 24 plus 3 is minus 21. So we have x squared plus 8x minus 21 equals 0. I wonder if this is factorable. Let's see here. 7 times 3, 21. Nah, it doesn't look like it. So we're going to use the quadratic formula. That's always safe. So we can write that x is equal to uh, minus 8 plus or minus the square root of 8 squared minus 4 times a times c which is a 20, minus 21 all divided by 2a which is 2 okay let's clean this up a little bit let's give ourselves a little bit more room go over here so that x is equal to minus 8 plus and minus the square root of so we have 64 and the minus times the minus gives me a plus 84 all divided by 2. All right, continuing, x equals minus 8 plus or minus the square root of, that would be 148, divided by 2. And let's see here. That is divisible by 4, so we can write this as x is equal to minus 8 plus or minus the square root of 4 times 37, because that's 74 times 2 is 148, divided by 2. So x is equal to minus 8 plus or minus, take the square root of that, we get 2 times the square root of 37 divided by 2. And so finally we get x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 37. And that is the final solution to our problem. We want to make sure that we don't violate any rules. So x cannot be 3 and x could be not be negative 3. And so we don't have that problem. We're good. Those are the solutions. Well, that is the solution to this particular equation.